Hey guys, it's Matt Starr. Hope you're doing great. This is day three of this three-part series this week. Attitude adjustments that you can make that will greatly improve the quality of your life and ultimately your career. If you missed the first two, go back and check them out. I appreciate all the feedback that I've been getting and the conversation that's happening. So like right now I'm talking into a phone, but really I'm talking to you guys and I wanna hear what you guys have to say about this, what your experience is with it, maybe some difficulties or challenges you're having and certainly all the victories that you're having when you implement these ideas because they will change your life and I'm living proof of that. Um, and I am a student as well, so I'm always listening and looking for more information and a lot of that comes from you guys. So. Thank you for the comments and keep them coming and thank you for all the shares that have been happening as well. It's been really, um, really humbling. I'm really grateful for that. Okay, so this, uh, this one here, man, we could do a whole week on this. We could do a whole book on this and it's called Letting Go of Your Story. So everybody's got a story. Sometimes we're conscious of it, sometimes we're not conscious of it. And pieces of that story are lodged way back in the the recesses of our mind. You know, I always equate it to somebody pouring a foundation for a hundred story skyscraper and as they're pouring it, someone just walks by and throws a rock in there, just a big rock. And then more concrete gets put on top of it and then the wood comes and the metal comes and then all of a sudden you've got a hundred foot skyscraper. But there's this, there's this, this imperfection in the foundation and it affects the whole, whole building. So that's what happens with us as people and a lot of times these things get planted in our head either by us or by somebody else or you know sometimes we willingly take this information on other times it just kind of happens you know and it affects the way we live our lives and it affects who we think we are and the reality is we're all great and we're all perfect not as human beings in this earth we all have our flaws but in our natural state Anyone who's had kids knows that. You see a child and you're just like, yeah, that, that, that thing doesn't need any work. You know, it just needs some food and a nap. Right, so these things are affecting our lives, these stories that we have. And, you know, I work with all different kinds of people in my career counseling work. A lot of times, um, you know, I'll talk to somebody and I'll, they'll, many times they'll just give me the facts like here's where I'm at here's what I've done here's what I've you know things I've worked on and you know here's where I want to be and okay cool that's fine but you know every once in a while you get somebody who has a story you know and they're like well I tried this and I tried doing that and then this didn't work and that didn't work and so they have this story and and so that goes back to an, uh, a post from earlier this week where I said you know when you're sitting down with somebody who has information you want you, they don't need to know about you you need to know about them you know you need to know what they have to share with you, right? Because sometimes we're so busy just running around looking for somebody to hear our story and go, oh yeah, that is hard, or oh yeah, I'd be mad too, or oh yeah, I, you know, and that's a process of empathy and processing life. If you just need, you know, if something happened, you're gonna connect with a good friend, hey, this happened, oh wow, you know, I'm so sorry about that, yeah, I, I, can, I can relate, okay, cool, boom, and move on. But we have these stories that we've been telling for years and years, and ultimately, what do those stories lead to? You know, if your story is I'm doing great and success comes my way easily and I am a huge asset to everyone I meet and I have a wonderful life beyond my wildest dreams. If you just walk around saying that, you're going to start to see that show up in your life. Before you start to see that, you will start to see things in your life that are not sympathetic to that vibration. And then you will have an opportunity to change them and those things will show themselves at first casually and subtly and that's why we want to live as conscious of a life as we can otherwise those things will show themselves as crises crises i don't know the plural of that but multiple crises yeah forget it uh anyway they'll show themselves as problems or ultimately big huge problems and the goal is to recognize them early on. And so, you know, but sometimes you just gotta get your ass kicked by life. But I gotta say that all the things that I've been through, that, you know, this universe and my creator have been so patient with me and so gentle. 
considering the amount of times, because once I finally realized something, I'm like, oh, and I'm like, and I look back over my life, and I'm like, oh my God, I've been getting that message for years, and I'm just realizing it now, you know? And so, you know, I've had my share of of uh, stressful issues and, and situations and periods of my life that have not been fun, but man, this universe is really patient and super kind, and so that's why, again, gratitude is a huge component to all this. But letting go of your story, right? So if you have somebody who's close to you that is supportive of you, because a lot of times what happens is, you know, you're in a spot in your life and you're with somebody else, maybe a significant other or just a friend or an acquaintance or whatever, and you want to move forward and they don't really want you to because they don't really, they aren't in touch with that for themselves. And so they're not going to ultimately be supportive even though they are your friend and you think of them as a good friend. So be careful with that. But if you do have somebody who's objective and loves you and if you had all your dreams come true, no one would be happier for you. Talk to them and say, hey, do I have a story? Do you know, do I kind of have some stuff I keep talking about, like things you keep hearing me go in circles about or something that I say about myself or I, I put myself down or I don't give myself enough credit or I I say that I don't deserve this or, you know, is there anything that I do like that? And and, and listen to what they say and be open to it, you know. Um, another thing you can do, and it's really essential, any business does this, is to take an inventory. And there's a lot of different formats that you can use. There's a, a great book called um, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, and it was written um, it's, it's all close to 100 years ago. We're coming up on, um, it's about 80, 80 plus years ago. And it's an incredible book for so many reasons, and that's just, there's a wealth of knowledge in there. But there is a section where you can take a personal inventory, and it's really, really super helpful. And, and there's a lot of other um, programs, 12-step programs do this too, where you just you, take, you have to assess, like, where am I at? What's going on? And what do I have that's, that's I'm doing right? And what do I have that I'm doing not wrong, but just that's not in my best interest, you know? Um, and so that's a great uh, tool for changing your story. Uh, another way you can counter this is if you look at your story and you go, okay, so I'm telling myself I'm stupid. See, and then here's, here's, a, here's another thing is that some of the stories are verbalized, right? So, you, you know, you meet, you meet somebody for the first time. Hey, how are you? Oh, you know, uh, man, the traffic was just ridiculous. You know, and this, I got this idiot in front of me. It's like, okay, thanks for that story. People will tell you who they are in about 10 seconds. Okay? People will tell you who they are in the first 10 seconds. If you listen and pay attention, you will get that information. Okay? So just be aware of that. But, um, you know, you meet somebody and that's, that's their thing. It's like, okay, well, that's their story. So some of the stories are visible, right? You can, you can kind of easily identify them. And, and then if you say to that person, if you were in an appropriate setting and they said, well, do I have a story? I said, well, yeah, when I met you, you just started bitching about the traffic and just saying how everyone around you is an idiot. It's like, well, no, but there was a lot of traffic. And it's like, okay, so they're not really receptive to hearing that or seeing that about themselves. And, you know, that's okay. That's cool. But, um, you know, you want to connect with people who are open and willing to uh, receiving the information. But so sometimes, you know, we can be stubborn and we can be so caught up in the, the moment, the situation, the emotion that we think that that's real. And it's not real. It's so not real. None of this is real. You know, none of this is real. It's just our perception of things. And you change your perception, you change your life. So some of the stories that we tell ourselves, we, we verbalize so they can, other people can see them. But there's a lot of other stories that we don't share with people like, wow, I'm such an idiot or I'm so stupid or why did I do that or there's never enough time or there's never enough money or see, I'm going to be alone forever or man, there's just all the great gigs are taken or any number of these stories that we would never say out loud, but we say to ourselves and play like a tape over and over and over and over and over again. And so what we're doing is we're brainwashing ourselves. So a great counter to that is if you catch one of those things, I'm an idiot. Oh, geez, you know, I say that a lot. Okay, cool. What's the opposite of that? I'm a very intelligent, thoughtful person. Okay, and you make an affirmation out of that. So there's a lot of different ways you can do that. You can say those every morning 
when you wake up and do your routine, hopefully you have some sort of routine where there's you know, some meditation, prayer, you set your intention, you kind of figure out what you're going to do for the day. Um, another thing you can do is just repeat it. I'm a very thoughtful, intelligent person. I'm very thoughtful. And just repeat it, repeat it, repeat it, because that's what you're doing anyway, right? So if we don't counter that, life moves forward, always, always. So you're either growing towards your dreams or you're growing away from your dreams, you know, but life is constantly in motion and we are living things. And so we want to be conscious of the choices that we're making. So we are choosing to have the life that we want because we're headed in a direction, whether you like it or not. And you can't just close your eyes to it, you know, cause it's happening. That's what life does. It's awesome. I have two kids and I see that every day. You know, they just, they're crawling and they're reaching and don't touch that. And they're going to touch that because they want to touch that. That's what they want to do. That's what we do. And I see that in my kids and I'm like, wow. So my job is to take the phone or the remote that they keep going for and just put it where they can't get it. But then when they get a little older, they'll start moving chairs and climbing on chairs and stuff because that's what we do as human beings to see that in its raw state has been such an honor and a privilege for me to see once a child, and even from the beginning, you know, they can't really take care of themselves, but that's why they're crying because they're like, I need food, I need to be held, you gotta change my diaper, I need sleep. But to see that evolution happen before your eyes, that it is a natural, natural state to see something and to try to attain it, try to achieve it. And when you're a kid, they don't, you know, they don't say, well, my goal would be, you know, they just go, I wanna touch that thing, you know, I wanna put that thing in my mouth, I wanna eat that, whatever it is. And to see that in its raw form is so amazing. It's so amazing. And I never, even though it can get frustrating, discipline my kids for trying to get to something, reach something, grow something. Because that's what we're here to do, man. And it is relentless. If I don't close that bathroom door, my one-year-old daughter will be in there with her hand in the toilet. I have to remember to close that door. And if I didn't close the door and she's in there, I'm like, ah. Oh, Come here, come on, come on, you gotta come out, you gotta come out, come here, come here, you know, and it's like, that's my responsibility to close that door as someone who knows what's gonna happen. But to see she gets that idea in her mind and nothing is gonna stop her. And with that is what we are full of, and it just gets beaten out of us or pounded out of us or threatened out of us. Sometimes when we're very young, sometimes, you know, just by life in general. And then we also aid in that process to the negative. So you change your story, you change your life. Okay? You got questions on this? Let's talk about it. If you would like to talk about this more in depth, sign up for my career consultation sessions. I do them all over the world. If you're in LA, we can do them in person, or we can do them via Skype or FaceTime, anytime, anywhere. And if you have a company that you own or that you're part of that you would like to share these ideas with, I do corporate events, I do public speaking, where I speak to you know, small groups of people, large groups of people, and we talk about all this stuff. This is really powerful stuff. If you understand any of this, it's a real blessing and a real honor to have this information because it's sacred, but it's, it, it really is for everybody. And again, I'm a student just like you, and I'm just sharing this little tiny sliver of what I know. And I learn through talking to you guys and hearing your feedback, and I learn through reaching out to other folks that are further down the road than me. So, mattstarmusic.com. There's a tab for career consultation. Leave your comments below. Thank you for sharing this video. We really appreciate it. And let's let go of our stories and make up new ones that are awesome because it's all made up anyway. So let's make up awesome stuff. Okay, bye.